This is lesson number 15 of 53 weekly beginner guitar lessons. Yes, number 15. So what I want to do at this point is I want to, let's look at our foundation. Let me rap to you a little bit this lesson, okay? Because there's so many things that we're working on right now we need to maybe back up a little bit and just hang out here for a minute, absorb what you've learned so far. Not seeing you every week, having a one-on-one -on -one with you, means that I need to hear from you. Hopefully you can email me and tell me your issues or problems, the good things you're doing and maybe the negatives. Even better yet, you send me a little video, a short little video of showing me of what you're doing and what your problems might be. We can talk about them. So this is important at this stage that your routine is, is working, you're, you're, you're working on tweaking it in, getting better at practicing, getting better at making use of your time, better use all the time. Because the guitar is so easy just to start diddle-daddle around and finagling around and really not doing anything. But when you're learning, it, it does have a lot to do with analyzing where you have issues and seeing where the problem is, the physical problem. Is it a hand? Is it a wrist? Is it a finger? Is it the right hand, the left hand? What's going on? You have to be able to look at where is my problem? Where is my issue? I do like that word finagle. It's a great word. And sometimes we have to finagle a little bit to, to come up upon the, the answer. It's somehow how we discover how to do things sometimes by finagling. Trying things, experimenting. So that's what's important at this, this point. That you're going over all the things that we've done, the chromatic scale, which is all semitones. And you're also going over your natural scale. You're learning your notes better and better all the time. You're just getting really good at that. And the finger placement in the scale, saying the notes while you play, the note names. And with the basic chord progressions that we've done, you're doing the same thing. You're taking a chord and you're going, okay, my G chord, I got a G, a B, open D, a G, a B, and a G. So you want to be spelling your chords. So when you have first position chords that we covered like last lesson, you should be able to look at those chords and see what notes you have in there. Now you don't know all the sharp notes yet. You don't know C sharp, but you're going to be learning these notes soon. G sharp and the E chord. Your first finger, first fret, G string, G sharp. And you have an F sharp for the G major seven, right? The D7, you have an F sharp. The C7, your fourth finger is playing a B flat. So you will know to know sharps and flats. We're going to discuss that very, very soon. But so far, it's been really, I've been wanting you to get the physical edge going. And I want you to start to think about songs that you would like to learn. And I think this would be important for you to start making a list of songs that you think would be important or that you would like to learn. And I would like to see your list. Hope you send it to me. Maybe I can send you something to help you along with that song. We want to start thinking a little bit about songs now. We're getting some of the mechanics. You've got the shuffle, the boogie. You're getting the chord progressions going. You're learning 12-bar blues progressions. And we've got much, much more to do with that coming up as scales and arpeggios. But there can be some easy little songs. Some are kind of rinky-dinky, okey-dokey little tunes. Love Somebody, some little Happy Birthday songs like that that, hey, it might be nice if you could sing Happy Birthday or play that for someone, you know? That would be groovy. Those are things to think about. What little easy little songs, maybe even you, by playing some of these chords, can figure some of these songs out on your own. But there are links. And on a Patreon site, I have a, a link page that will give you links. There are 
a lot of guitar players out there who have sites, YouTube sites. What they do is they actually, they're there to teach you songs, to show you songs. Some of them are very advanced, some of them are intermediate, and some of them would be for beginners. And you should be going at the beginner level right now. Plenty of time to get to the more fancier, harder stuff. But looking for easy chords. Two or three easy chords, maybe four or five chords. You have a verse where they're singing, and you have a chorus. And you should also, besides doing that homework on your own with songs, you should also be looking at, I reel, I have progressions, chord progressions, and there's a list of many of them. You should definitely be working on the first five to ten progressions, and I'm going to be talking more about those in the lessons coming up. So anyways, this 15th lesson is about, okay, where am I? What issues do I have? What do I need to work on? What am I getting good? What am I not doing well or I think I could do better? Where do I need to spend more time? Where do I need to analyze where my issues are? I've got to make some discoveries because I've got to keep on my adventure. I've got to keep on my journey of attaining my goals with guitar. Hey, it's about hearing too, your ear. Are we doing some ear training? Are you learning what a minor chord sounds like? What a regular chord sounds like? A major chord, a G, a D, an E. How about the seventh chord, the C7, the D7? Can you start to hear the difference in those chords? This is important. So this is where I'm ending this lesson today. This is just a, it's a talk. It's to get you inspired, okay? Because we got, there's just so much. Anyways, I could jam on and on and on. I want you to start to learn to jam. And that's what we're heading for. The blues progressions are really important. The boogie. And we've got more things that we're going to be doing with those. The boogie, the shuffle, starting to strum the chords better. More about rhythms and how to strum. Uh, techniques and skills. There's so much more to do. But I kind of want... Like I said, at this lesson today, is to kind of pull back and let's, let's, let's hang out here and let's find out where issues are and how is your practicing doing. I, I really would like to hear from you, okay? If you can post uh, on the Patreon or send me an email, send me a note, uh, send me a video. There's a lot of ways to do it, okay? If you're at one of the higher uh, tier levels, then you actually have a lesson with me every month or two lessons or four lessons. But if you're, if you're not able to do that, then I will accept you to send a video to me or start a conversation with me so we can talk about what's going on with your guitar playing, okay? All right, number 16 coming up. We're moving along, but let's build this foundation. Let's make it really strong. Once you have this great foundation, you'll be so glad. You'll look back at it someday and go, wow, so glad Robert taught me about the foundation and the basics. And we're launching off of that. You'll always have that. It's going to be great. Guarantee you.